Day two of Kansas State Fall Camp. You're listening to the KSO Show, watching the KSO Show. We actually got the first or the last 45 minutes available to the media today, and we saw a little bit of different things, not a whole lot of a glimpse inside of what's going on, especially since they're not in pads yet. But this will be about the offensive observations today. And, of course, Skylar Thompson was the, the first quarterback out there today, and he looked you know, much more, in, I wouldn't say invested, but much more included into the drills and, and all the scrimmage action that we saw, much more than we saw in the spring. So you could tell that he's obviously improving from a health standpoint. The next best quarterback after that, but there wasn't really a debate in my eyes. Obviously, Jaron Lewis and Jake Rubley and Max Marsh are out here too. But Will Howard is the clear um, second option at this point. He's head and shoulders above the others. And I would imagine it, what the coaches have said throughout the offseason, that he's perhaps pushing for spot snaps here and there. I still think that's probably on its way to coming to fruition. In the backfield, Deuce Vaughn looked as good as always, of course. And, and the next running back was used was the one we didn't see last year. It was Joe Irvin after he opted out, of course, and didn't play in the 2020 season. He looks like he's going to have a considerable role for the Wildcats in 2021. Uh, fullback Jackson Neem was the one that was used most. Obviously, Mason Barta was included as well at tight end. The, the one that was the most, I guess, I uh, want to say, you know, attached to the offense in terms of being a pass-catching weapon and a reliable one that they went to often was Daniel E. Matter Bebe, the transfer from Illinois. He's also spent some time at USC, of course. There's been a lot of rave reviews about him in the offseason and about what kind of a dynamic pass-catching weapon he can be, maybe even a little bit more than Briley Moore. We sure saw signs of that being the case today because um, Briley Moore is probably just a different player than Daniel E. Matter Bebe. Matter Bebe showed that he's probably a little bit more athletic, a little bit more burst, a little bit more explosion. That's what we saw today. A little bit more twitchier than Briley Moore, which is probably a good sign for the Cats of course. Offensive line, uh, the starting five that we saw today was probably the ones you would anticipate seeing at least early on in fall camp. With left to right, you have Cooper Beebe, Josh Revis, Noah Johnson, uh, Ben Adler, and Christian Duffy. I don't think that surprises many. That's I think that's the five that they were really rolling with in the spring. So at the beginning of fall camp, that's what that looks like. Taylor Portier is on that second unit as a guard. It's probably someone that's going to see some playing time as well this year. Katori Loveston started several games last year at offensive tackle for Kansas State. He looks like he's in that second unit as a guard at this point. The backup tackles, at least today, were Carver Willis and Logan Long. So if I had to talk about standouts today, the guys that really popped off the popped off the page and made some really splash plays just in the 45 minutes that we did see. Daniel and Matter Bebe, of course, comes to mind. Deuce Vaughn, of course comes to mind, but even at wide receiver, I think we saw a little bit of Keenan Garber and Landry Weber probably had the best days, and then Will Howard uh, and Skylar Thompson were definitely the, the clear guys that were the most comfortable at the quarterback position. Stay tuned to our YouTube channel. Subscribe if you haven't. Subscribe to KSO if you haven't already, and the next video you'll watch will probably be our defensive observations, so tell your friends.